My high school experience has been so positively afflicted by FCA. It's given me so much more strength than I had at the beginning of junior high sports. And now I have a deeper understanding that God is with me through every time I play, I see a cross in yeah. my gym, at the stadium, or wherever I may be playing. Tell me, you know, what uh, the weekly lessons are and getting together with kids who believe uh, what you believe too. How special is that? A lot of our weekly lessons, we do a Bible verse and some kind of teamwork activity so that everybody is included and we all have to work together to figure things out. Mm -hmm. How does this carry over into the hallways for you, you know, throughout the, the whole week? Starting off with FCA every Wednesday morning just really starts off my day with a smile, with a great attitude, and a positive outlook on the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Why do you think the gospel of Jesus fits in so well with sports, too? I think that sports has so many ups and downs, and so does the Bible, and it gives us so many reasons and examples of why things are the way they are. It gives us reasoning behind our failures and reasoning behind our success, and to know that one thing, one mighty God is all behind that and to just give all of our faith to Him. Mm -hmm. Well, you touched on it too, that our, the way we compete, the way we train can really be worshiped to God too. I mean, is that something you're mindful of? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that, how that works. You know, it's like you said, you look for a cross so before games and stuff. Yeah, my, actually my, one of my F F FCA advisors, she saw me talking to myself during one of my volleyball games and she advised me to just look for a cross and know that God's with me all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of kids uh, would be scared of something like this. What's your encouragement for them to try FCA? My encouragement would be to just try it. Always try something new. You never know how it'll go. FCA is an amazing place with amazing people in it, all worshiping the same God. I love coming here and hanging out with my friends in the morning and eating this good food that they prepare for us. It's, it's always like a nice thing to do among people and it gets people together and it gets people with God. Mm -hmm. How has it affected you as an athlete too? Some of the lessons you've gone over and just uh, maybe teammates uh, who are in FCA with you too? So like it, it taught us to push hard and it's like even if stuff like gets in your way and things just aren't going the way that you want them to, just look to God and God can help you push through anything that you need to. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that's such a good fit? What life brings, sports brings and just the gospel of Jesus and his availability to us, his lessons out of the Bible. Like kind of stuff. Well, like, it, he just pushes us to do better, be better people, um, and just show, like, the good people inside of us. Mm -hmm. Tell me, too, you know, there's a lot of kids who might be a little standoffish about this. What's your encouragement for them to, to try FCA and, uh, and see what it's all about? Well, it's, it's like the friendliness that we have as a family here. It's just people might not like it like oh we're just pushing God on people but we're really just trying to get everybody together and be nice and be just competitive athletes together. Mm -hmm. How has this affected you the the other days of the week maybe uh, in the hallway you know the way that you um, you live your life I guess maybe seeing other kids in the hallway or in FCA? It's like well we know each other is going to be in FCA so we like well we're we're together more, so we're better friends and we're a family together. Mm -hmm. And uh, like when you're competing, when you're in the heat of the moment, I mean, you guys are coming off a really good football season, stuff like that. Are there moments, you know, that, that God has really prompted you to, to make great choices out there? Too? Yeah, like, well, we try to hold ourselves back. You know, like football, we get we get really pumped up and some we hold ourselves back to, to you know, like get penalties and stuff. and. Uh, and one thing that we always do is like we like draw crosses on our face or like on our arms that just helps us know that God is with us and together with us for the whole game.